Hi, today's video going to be very easy, but still this is uh, going to be very interesting uh, problem because in this problem I'm going to explain different terminology like what is a, a narrow sense uh, heritability, what is a broad sense heritability, what is a total phenotypic uh, variance and what it is uh, consist of and uh, what is a uh, total genetic variance and so on. So here's the problem. If in a population of swine the narrow sense heritability of maturation weight is 0 0.5, the phenotypic variance is 100 pounds, the total genetic variance is 50 pounds, and the epistatic variance is 0, calculate the dominance genetic variance and the environmental variance. So in order to solve this problem, everything we have to know is just just uh, three formulas and here would be the first uh, most basic formula where variance total phenotypic would equal to variance genetic plus variance environmental so this is very basic formula and not much uh, to tell about this formula it's obvious that uh, phenotype just uh, consists of uh, uh, genetic input and environmental input or environmental influence plus uh, genetic composition and this is true no matter if it is uh, plant or animal so phenotype is just uh, visual appearance of uh, um, object including all the um, visual traits. So uh, the next formula that we have to know in order to solve this problem would be that uh, variance genetic consists of three variances and the first one would be variance additive plus variance epistatic plus variance um, dominance and um, here, for the uh, narrow sense heritability, we need only variance additive. And narrow sense heritability, we use formula that is uh, h squared, h small squared, would equal to variance additive divided by total uh, phenotypic variance. And uh, for the wide sense heritability, we don't need that formula today, but I just want to uh, show you the difference. Uh, the wide or broad sense heritability, uh, uh, we need all three uh, uh, variances. So here would be the formula H capital squared would equal to variance additive plus variance. Um, epistatic plus variance dominance divided by the variance total phenotypic. So this would be the difference between uh, narrow sense heritability and uh, broad sense heritability. And as you see, this is very easy to remember, this would be narrow sense and this would be uh, broad sense. So just very easy to remember. So what we know about our problem today? We know that uh, the narrow sense heritability of maturation weight is 0 0.5. So uh, we can say that this is going to be here 0 0.5. And we also know that uh, the phenotypic variance would be 100 pounds so the phenotypic variance 100 pounds and this is going to be here 100 goes under variance uh, total phenotypic uh, what else we know the total genetic variance would be um, uh, 50 pounds so total genetic 
variance equal to 50 so it goes here and the epistatic variance equal to 0 so we put 0 here and we have to calculate the dominance genetic uh, genetic um, so it's going to be here and we also have to find uh, uh, the environmental variance so uh, we have to find here and here we can put uh, variance genetic that is 50 so it's super easy uh, if we know the total uh, variance phenotype uh, would be 100 and uh, genetic variance input would be 50 so it's very easy to say that uh, variance environmental also would equal to 50. So we solved uh, one of the questions and now we have to find variance uh, due to dominance and here it would be very easy. So we know uh, that variance uh, epistatic equal to 0 and variance genetic equal to 50 so uh, now we have to find uh, these two numbers in order to tell the variance due to dominance so how we are going to solve this problem we are going to use this formula here so in other words we can say that uh, 0 0.5 would equal what we know here uh, so far we don't know variance additive so we would use uh, variance additive here on top but we know the total phenotypic variance here here it is in our formula and this equals to 100 so uh, variance additive divided by 100 and that give us the answer that uh, variance additive equal to 50. So if we divide 50 by uh, 100, we are going to get 0 0.5. So we now know that variance additive would equal to uh, 50. So what we know, what we now know. We know that uh, variance genetic that is 50 pounds and we know that variance additive also 50. We know that variance um, epistatic 0 and the only possible answer for the variance uh, due to dominance would be also 0. So we solve it, our problem and uh, we give two answers so variance environmental would equal to 50 and variance uh, due to dominance would be zero and this is very easy as you see and uh, for our um, calculations we don't need this formula here broad sense heritability I just want you to show the difference between narrow sense heritability and broad sense heritability and this is all for today please write your comments questions if you have any thumbs up if you like this video and see you in the next video goodbye